welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. Imagine a disease so terrifying that it could empty entire cities. In the summer of 1793, Philadelphia, then the capital of the United States, became a ghost town. The reason? Yellow fever, a viral disease transmitted by infected mosquitoes. But this isn't just a story about a disease. It's about how a virus transformed the way American cities were built. The symptoms of yellow fever were horrifying. The illness began with a sudden onset of fever and severe headaches. As the virus attacked the liver, victims began to turn yellow, hence the name yellow fever. Many suffered from internal bleeding and vomited black blood. In Philadelphia alone, approximately 5,000 people died, accounting for about 10% of the city's population. But here's where it gets interesting. People didn't know viruses existed back then, let alone that yellow fever was spread by mosquitoes. Instead, they blamed bad air from swamps and rotting matter. This theory would literally reshape American cities. They undertook significant changes to mitigate the spread of disease and improve overall public health. They drained swamps and standing water, built wide straight streets to improve airflow, created parks as urban lungs, developed early sewer systems, and raised street levels to improve drainage. Take New Orleans. The city faced yellow fever epidemics almost every summer. Between 1817 and 1905, over 41,000 people died. The city's response? Massive engineering projects to drain swamps and build pumping stations. Ironically, these changes did help reduce yellow fever, not because they improved air quality, but because they eliminated mosquito breeding grounds. The same story played out in cities across America. Memphis raised its street level, Mobile filled in surrounding marshes, and Charleston built a extensive drainage system. It wasn't until 1900 that Dr. Walter Reed proved yellow fever was transmitted by mosquitoes, specifically Aedes aegypti. By then, American cities had already been transformed, accidentally creating environments that made it harder for mosquitoes to thrive. Today, the wide streets, parks, and drainage systems we take for granted in American cities are partly thanks to yellow fever. A virus we didn't understand shaped the very ground we walk on. The story of yellow fever reminds us that sometimes we solve problems without fully understanding them. And while we now have a vaccine, the impact of this virus on American urban design remains a permanent reminder of how disease can reshape society.